In this video, you will learn six different techniques to use with tempera paint. The first one is to fill the entire space. This might be a small object like an apple, or it might be a large area like a sky. Notice how I'm only getting a small amount of paint on my brush. I don't want the paint on the metal part of the brush. I outline the shape first using the tip of my brush, standing it up tall on its tippy toes. Then I'm using a ladder technique where I'm painting from one side all the way over to the other side. I'm not painting all over the place. I'm not scribbling with the paint. I'm painting very methodically from one side to the other side. Now we'll move on to our second technique, which is using texture tools. This can be a really fun way to paint. You could add texture to mountains, to clouds, to grass, anything that um, really adds like a feeling to what would that, that surface feel like. So you could use combs, you can use sponges. Here I'm using a sponge, just dipping it just a little bit into the paint, or even bottle caps. Here I'll paint the put the paint on to the bottle cap and then stamp it onto my paper. Our next technique is detail painting. In detail painting, it's very important to only get a small amount of paint on your brush. Just the little tip of the brush should go into the paint. I'm standing my brush up nice and tall so that the paint does only goes in the areas that I want it to. This is kind of like drawing with your paintbrush. So think about it as you have lead at the very tip of your pencil, you want paint only on the very tip of your brush. This is a very challenging technique. It's okay if you make a few mistakes as you're trying this for the first time. Technique number four is creating a grass texture. For this, we're going to use a combination of small dashes to create that look or that texture, that feeling of grass. So I use dark green and then I fill in those lines with the lighter green and then I finish it by using um, some yellow and a little bit of blue. So these are very small hatching marks made with your paintbrush. Technique number five is blending with two warm colors. Remember, warm colors remind us of fire or the sun. So this would include yellow, orange, red, and sometimes pink too. You're going to choose two of these colors to blend from one into the other. Here I'm choosing yellow and I'm blending them in the middle into orange. So I'll do this by putting the orange down first and then putting some yellow and with a clean brush right where those two connect, you're going to slowly blend them together from one into the other. Now let's try this again with cool colors. So cool colors include green, blue, and purple. So choose two of those colors to blend from one into the other, just like we did with our warm colors. Remember, only use a small amount of paint and you wanna put down one of the colors, then the other, and with a clean brush, blend them in the middle. Don't forget to add your name and your class to your example, and then take a picture on Seesaw. 